example, in this video, I will show you how to create hair like this. Uh, for this kind of hair, it would be best to use grid surface, and uh, because we have like uh, big masses that could be easily described by a few big mesh shapes, and then those mesh simple meshes can be used for guiding the curves. So let's create this, uh, f uh, and I will open new scene. And I already created those meshes because there is nothing interesting in modeling them. It is basically half of the sphere in here with one uh, uh, top uh, edge marked as sharp because this will be the source of the grid of uh, curves. And then we have another uh, part in here. This is also half uh, sphere with uh, mirror modifier. So how you model this is just you create a UV sphere, remove the bottom part like that, and then remove the top. Mark this as uh, mark this as sharp, so the hair strands will be going in this direction. But actually, I don't think this matters. This matters too much. So you can actually mark uh, this as sharp and then the hair strands will be going from uh, in this direction. And so I just move this close to the head, uh, scale this, flatten it, snap to the head surface, move this with some soft selection like this. And after a bit of tweaking, you will have something, something that I have in here. And the last uh, part is for tail. This will be guiding the curves on the tail. So uh, when I have this mesh made from one, two, three separate sub meshes, I can now use a grid surface option. So Control Shift H. Uh, maybe I will enable the screencast keys. And now we use Control Shift H to use uh, curves from grid surface. And by default, it doesn't look uh, good uh, because the curves do not have the curves do not have enough points. So uh, I will select the curves and run rerun curves from grid surface. But this time, I will increase uh, points per strand. So we increase this, and uh, now it starts to look uh, better. Uh, because there is not much uh, flow to the head, I can reduce the noise amplitude to zero. And maybe I can increase strand count to maybe 28. And now we have something. Uh, but uh, there is too much gaps between uh, between the strands. So I will select the hair and run cards from this surface and reduce the randomizer spacing. So I will randomize the, reduce this to maybe just 1%. So there will be evenly, evenly spaced. I think we lack some resolution resolution on the curves, so I will add more points to the curves so that uh, they do not uh, go inside the head, like you can see in here. So I will uh, run one more time curves from grid surface and increase the points to maybe 22, uh, 23, and that should that looks uh, good enough. So now we can add uh, profile. So generate. I will use this generate ribbons, and the head tool will automatically import default uh, material, as you can see in here. Now I will change the width to maybe one, or maybe even more, 1.5, and we have uh, good enough uh, width. Uh, so one problem is that the curves are not aligned to the uh, head surface. So we can align them to this uh, grid uh, surface by using the align curve tilt. And uh, the add-on knows uh, which surface is use you can you you want to align to because there is this target property set to sphere, and this object is named sphere, as you can see. So now when I align to the sphere using align curve tilt, you see now those curves are aligned to the uh, head correctly. And if I preview the texture view, it looks like so. So one problem is that the texture doesn't seem dense enough. So I will open UV image editor and change the hair UVs. So I, I, under the spacebar, I'll, I will search for UV hair. 
and I want to use this right part for texture so I will move the texture to the right the UV box and now we have denser hair and uh, ok accept and uh, other problem I want to move the texture slightly more to the bottom because the uh, hair strands are ending in here but the texture is kind of reaching to this point so I want to move this texture more to the bottom so in other words I want to move uh, offset the UVs to the uh, tips so I search one more time for UV hair operator in the UV image editor and uh, to offset hair texture I can just shift hold shift and scroll on the bottom of the UV box you see now when I am scrolling the texture is moving more to the bottom so when I am uh, ready I can press enter to accept and uh, this looks uh, quite uh, good maybe I can reduce the specular so in the material editor I can adjust the default uh, built-in hair tool material by going to this yellow node and reducing the specular highlight and if you want you can change color or play with the settings uh, okay so this part the middle and the front is looking good I want to maybe tweak the tail because it is, has just only two curves and uh, but if I now rerun the curves from grid surface uh, enable the aligning maybe if I now increase the amount of strands it will increase the amount of strands not only on the ponytail but it will increase this everywhere and I don't want this I want to increase the density only on the tail so uh, I will remove actually those uh, ponytails for now and I will separate the guide mesh this part with picky and separate selection so now we have this separated and I can run Control shift h cards from grid again but now we have uh, way more strands generated uh, so maybe 16 should be enough and I want to add some more noise in this case because the front part uh, it's not flowing too much but the, this is kind of more loose so I want to add more noise and per increase per strand noise maybe 0 0.6 so now the strands are uh, moving uh, more uh, outside of the guide mesh uh, I will maybe move the transition offset noise offset to the top uh, so this with moving this transition offset the noise is stronger and stronger going to the root so that looks actually quite decent uh, maybe I will reduce the amount to like 14 okay and now I can add uh, curly hair for the tail so I will just use Control shift h generate curls I will reduce the radius maybe divide by 2 and add some gravity and random maze maybe frequency like so and just for better quality I can increase number of points per cycle and uh, I can maybe move the cars more to the top by this offset parameter uh, or actually there is too much contrast so I will decrease the contrast of the noise around 0 0.3 and okay I would say this looks quite similar to what we had before uh, one problem is that they are kind of in the beginning all aligned to the same in the same uh, position so they are all aligned like so and I want to randomize the uh, aligning so that we'll be having more volume so it will be like this so for this we can uh, use the randomize uh, select those curves and uh, run uh, randomizing curve tilt and we want uh, to randomize the tilt uniformly so we increase the uniform and I want to maybe use the random direction so some will um, rotate clockwise some counterclockwise maybe I will increase the randomization strength to 133 degrees and now it is kind of randomized quite nice so when we look like this we have all kind of uh, strands going uh, in random directions 
So if I preview now the material, it has a thicker look. And if I want, I can also taper this so it will be kind of squished in here. So I can use Ctrl H taper. But instead uh, changing the tip, I don't want to actually change the tip. Uh, maybe you want, if you want. But I will reduce, uh, revert the tip back to the one and change the root size. Something like this. And maybe change the fall off. Uh, okay, so we have this kind of so we have this kind of effect now happening. So yeah, I think that covers everything. We have something that looks decent. Uh, also, to make this even better, we can draft some hairs on the side. So we uh, will enable draft hair, and I just paint some strokes. Uh, I will undo, and I do not want to. I want to draft car free bones. So when I have this head selected, I will draft some strands. I do not want such big offset. So I will reduce the elevation maybe to 0 0.5. Uh, that looks kinda okay. Uh, okay, so let's draft a few more. And I want to align tilt, so let's try how this will look. And uh, I can manually always tweak some of those curves and maybe add mirror so they will be uh, on the other side. So I will add mirror. Now we have them here and here. And also I may want to draft some uh, curves on the bottom, on the back. So I can do something like this. And I can add mirror also in here. And yeah, you can manually always tweak this. So I think that covers the uh, whole workflow. We used actually quite a lot of tools. And uh, that's it. See ya.